Kris Jenner's love life revolves around her marriages to the late lawyer Robert Kardashian and Olympian Caitlyn Jenner, with whom she has six children. However, Jenner has found lasting love again. In 2014, the momager met talent manager Corey Gamble through a mutual friend, and the two had developed a life together over the past decade. They've never married. Despite Jenner's claim that she doesn't need another wedding, their public support for each other demonstrates their importance in one another's lives. From Met Gala appearances to bonding with Jenner's numerous grandchildren, adopting a puppy, and avoiding engagement rumors, the couple has experienced the highs and lows of public love. Despite everything, they can always be found on each other's arms. Here's what we know about the timeline of their storied romance. According to People, the couple initially met on the Spanish island of Ibiza while celebrating mutual friend Ricardo Tissai's 40th birthday. Jenna later revealed that they traveled to Paris together early in their relationship. In a 2024 episode of The Kardashians, she stated, I love being in Paris with Corey. Corey and I started dating in Paris, so he always plans a really special night for us while we're here. Jenna and Gamble made one of their first public appearances as a couple, attending the combined birthday party of their friends French Montana and Mohammed Hadid. They cozied up to one other for a shot in matching black clothing. In a March episode of Jenna's reality program, she discussed her new romance. Her daughters voiced anxiety about the couple's age difference. Gamble is 25 years Jenna's junior and the same age as her second oldest daughter, Kim Kardashian. Jenna rejected their feedback. I can't do anything without getting criticized, she told me. The following month, Gamble made it official online. He kept it simple, tweeting a photo of himself and Jenna at dinner with Billy Ray Cyrus and his then-wife Tish Cyrus, with the message, good time, good meal. Jenna was featured on the cover of the August-September issue of Oat Living New York, which she celebrated with a party at Nobu Malibu with her five daughters and many friends. Gamble was always a supportive partner, appearing beside Jenna to celebrate and standing in front of her cover. The following fall, Jenna accompanied Gamble to the Vogue 95th anniversary party. They quickly became frequent front-row attractions at Fashion Week presentations in New York and Europe. The Kardashian Jenners are regulars at the Met Gala, and Gamble joined them for the first time in 2016. They donned in coordinated black clothes for the Manu's Ex Machina, fashion in an age of technology theme. The couple has walked the famed steps together many more times. Jenna began wearing a diamond ring on her left hand in the summer of 2018, prompting speculation that she was planning a wedding. In August, she appeared on The Late Late Show with James Corden and participated in a game of Spill Your Guts. When Corden questioned whether she was engaged, Jenna chose to eat a cricket instead of answering the issue. Jenna then appeared on an episode of the podcast Divorce Sucks, which was presented by her friend Laura Wasser, a celebrity divorce lawyer. Wasser asked Jenna about her ideas on marriage, and she was frank about where she sits. I don't feel the urge to put on a long white dress and walk down an aisle. I have done that. Jenna stated, I've had the big wedding, I've had the babies and the kids six of them, by the way. I think that I just feel really grateful and blessed for my past experiences and I'm looking forward to my future, but I don't think that I want to go there. Jenna took to Instagram in early 2020 to announce the arrival of her new family member, a dog named Bridget. She thanked Ellen DeGeneres, Portia de Rossi, and Chrissy Ty Jen for raising awareness about the shelter's need for adoptive dog parents. Jenna's new puppy was actually born in the same litter as Tegan's. On a subsequent episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, Gamble revealed that he had taken on the majority of dog parenting tasks. Chris is the one that wanted a dog, but I'm doing like 99.7% of all dog duties, Gamble told me. Later in the episode, when Jenna asked if a restaurant would allow Bridget to join them, Gamble responded, well, they are today. We can't go anywhere without Bridget. Gamble honored Jenna's 68th birthday with a sweet Instagram post. Happy birthday, my beautiful queen. He wrote, love you through life twice. Keep being the tremendous force of love and wisdom that guides the ship you born and built. I'm always proud of you and grateful for you. I love you forever, birthday girl. Keep shining and being the best mother to your six children. Since the beginning of their relationship, Jenna and Gamble's age difference has been a hot topic in the media and on episodes of The Kardashians.
On an episode in May 2024, ten years into their relationship, Jenna addressed it directly. I used to say to Corey all the time when I first started dating him, like, why do you want to date somebody older than you? I didn't understand the age disparity, but then he taught me that age is just a number. Jenna discussed her planned hysterectomy with friends Faye Resnick and Kathy Hilton on an episode of The Kardashians. I thought you were going to tell me you were getting married, Hilton said. Instead of dismissing the concept, Jenna merely stated, I mean, not right this very second. She continued to joke about the notion, saying, you guys can definitely be bridesmaids when I get married. So perhaps when I'm 70. Chris Jenner's love life revolves around her marriages to the late lawyer Robert Kardashian and Olympian Caitlyn Jenner, with whom she has six children. However, Jenner has found lasting love again. In 2014, the momager met talent manager Corey Gamble through a mutual friend, and the two had developed a life together over the past decade. They've never married. Despite Jenner's claim that she doesn't need another wedding, their public support for each other demonstrates their importance in one another's lives. From Met Gala appearances to bonding with Jenna's numerous grandchildren, adopting a puppy, and avoiding engagement rumors, the couple has experienced the highs and lows of public love. Despite everything, they can always be found on each other's arms. Here's what we know about the timeline of their storied romance. According to People, the couple initially met on the Spanish island of Ibiza while celebrating mutual friend Ricardo Tissai's 40th birthday. Jenna later revealed that they travelled to Paris together early in their relationship. In a 2024 episode of The Kardashians, she stated, I love being in Paris with Corey. Corey and I started dating in Paris, so he always plans a really special night for us while we're here. Jenna and Gamble made one of their first public appearances as a couple, attending the combined birthday party of their friends French Montana and Mohammed Hadid. They cozied up to one other for a shot in matching black clothing. In a March episode of Jenna's reality program, she discussed her new romance. Her daughters voiced anxiety about the couple's age difference. Gamble is 25 years Jenna's junior and the same age as her second oldest daughter, Kim Kardashian. Jenna rejected their feedback. I can't do anything without getting criticized, she told me. The following month, Gamble made it official online. He.